The goal of this project is to do something amazing. With an aircraft, it's quite standard aircraft, you know. It's also for the message that everyone uh, with solar energy, with electric aircraft can achieve a nice adventure. I went to Iceland, to Greenland many times in my life. And in 2004, I really see the change of the climate in that part of the world. The climate change is going so fast already in this part of the world. So for me, really what is driving me, it's I really want to do something in order to protect our climate. If we lose this challenge to protect our climate, all of the what we try to do to improve our life on this planet will be completely not useful. You know, so that's really my, my goal for me. It's really to do everything I can in order to protect the, the climate change. Raphael Domian is an eco explorer and in 2010 sailed around the world in a boat powered by the sun. It was the first solar electric boat to do so. It was an amazing day to so that we can sail with um, just with the power of the sun. And also, uh, afterwards, I saw that solar energy, it's um, today the cleanest energy that you can uh, find in the world. It's the cheapest one and the safest one. So tell me about your project that involves solar energy and flight. Our new project is Solar Stratos. And the final goal is to go to the stratosphere powered by the sun. We want to demonstrate that with solar stratos we can do something that is not possible to do with fossil fuel. But today the challenge is the next one. Okay, let's try and go to the stratosphere to go higher than a normal aircraft who is uh, working with fossil fuel. has a wingspan of 24 meters and is very lightweight at just 450 kilograms. Solar cells are placed all along the wings, charging a lithium ion battery that powers the engine. So it's a very nice aircraft, I like very much. The shape of the aircraft, it's like a glider, but it is an aircraft with really high uh, glide performance. But is, uh, we are doing at the takeoff, like an, any aircraft, just with the power of uh, the engine of the plane. And then we can stop the engine and we can uh, fly like a glider for a long time. We launched the project in 2014, but we really started to work on 2015. And now we did this year the first jump ever from an electric aircraft, the first ever solar skydive. Next year, we hope that we will be able to start to go higher and higher, and we expect to be in the stratosphere from 2022-2023. As well as setting a record for being the first manned solar plane to reach the stratosphere, they plan to use the plane for scientific purposes. With zero emissions, the plane can take sensitive atmospheric measurements without contaminating the samples with its own exhaust. The aim is to reach an altitude of 80,000 feet, and this comes with some technical challenges. So this is something that is difficult. You have to still uh, be as the lightest as possible, but also the plane uh, needs to be able to fly at this altitude. So uh, this is uh, one of the, the, the challenges. Of course, I will be so high that I will need a spacesuit powered by solar energy and uh, very light also. And this is another challenge. And then all the technical challenge, uh, like with the battery, uh, it will be really cold. It will, the pressure will be very low. So we need to manage all of these uh, things. So it's a, it's a huge technical challenge, human challenge. And it's what we like. We like this project because it's difficult, not because it's easy. There doesn't seem to be much sun up there. When you think of those NASA pictures, it all seems quite dark. 
You are in the stratosphere, you are very high and the view is beautiful. You can see the curve of the planet, you can almost see the star during the day. You are so close to the space. It is really dark actually, but we have much more sun than what we have on the surface of the planet. You know why? Because the sun crosses the atmosphere. So on the surface of the planet, at the sea level, we have about 1,200 square meters. But when you are in the stratosphere, you have 1,260 watt per square meters because the sun doesn't cross the atmosphere. So you have about 35% of energy uh, more coming from the sun. So in the stratosphere, the power of the sun is much more high than what we have on the planet. The aim of Solar Stratus is to show what can be achieved through solar energy with the hope that the aviation industry takes notice and steers away from fossil fuel to more sustainable sources of power. I am sure that in 20 or 30 years, I hope most of the aircraft will be electric for small aircraft and working with hydrogen for bigger aircraft. I think the future will be electric aircraft, not solar aircraft but that will be electric aircraft and the roof of the hangar will be full of solar cells. And with this, the cells are always on the sun and then you can charge a battery of the electric aircraft. The goal is to spread this message to the world that with solar energy, we can change, we can protect our climate. You know, we are burning every second 300 tons of uh, fossil fuel. You know, it's huge, every second, every second. So if we want to protect this planet against climate change, we need to, to do everything we can in order to change the spirit of the people. And they think still today, most of them, that we cannot do it without fossil fuel. This is not true, we can do it. We can change, we get much more power from uh, renewable energy than what we get from fossil fuel. We get a lot of more and that's what we want to demonstrate. We want to spread this message, this um, very optimistic message about the power of renewable energies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell button below for notifications.